Hello, I'm Martin Park. You can call me Coach. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about what I believe is a crucial aspect of personal development, and that is the transformative power of learning from your mistakes. And let me say right from the beginning, at the age of 66, along with my successes, I have failed many times and in many areas of my life. So let us continue. As humans, our lives and our personal journeys are filled with trials and errors and failures. And with each and every stumble and fall, we are provided with an opportunity to make a choice. One, we can choose to ignore or deny any error or mistake or problem on our part, which in doing so will unfortunately trap us in a perpetual loop of repeating the same actions and making the identical missteps and potentially forever. Two, we can acknowledge our mistake and then wallow in self-pity and negative self-reflection, bemoaning to ourselves, woe is me, why did I do that, how could I be so stupid? causing us to live in a never-ending state of what I should have done or what I could have done, aka shoulda, woulda, coulda. Or three, we can choose to embrace our errors and failures as opportunities for learning, growth and positive transformation. And in doing so, we allow ourselves to redefine our mistakes as stepping stones rather than stumbling blocks, which then allows us to harness the invaluable lessons embedded in their experiences. If you are looking to succeed in your life, then options one and two are off the table, as they are both negative and a waste of your time and effort. So option three is the only option that I will be discussing, as it is the best and only option that any thinking rational person would actively choose to follow. And here is why. Mistakes are defined as an action, decision or judgment that produces an unwanted or unintentional result. And while it is obvious just by the sheer nature of the word that mistakes are errors, faults, flaws, that doesn't mean or imply that mistakes are inherently negative. Let me say that in a different way. It is only when you choose option one, where you try to ignore the spilt milk and pretend it didn't happen, even when it has soured and is now smelling awful, or option two, where you sit there endlessly crying over the spilt milk, that a mistake becomes a negative consideration. If you choose option three and embrace your errors and mistakes, and in doing so you actively view them as opportunities for learning, growth and a positive transformation, then there is no negative aspect at all. Zero. In the words of Bill Gates, it's fine to celebrate success, but it is far more important to heed the lessons of failure. Or, as Barack Obama wisely asserted, the only real mistake is the one from which we learn nothing. So in essence, mistakes in their subtle complexity offer us not only an opportunity to grow, but they are, more importantly, a mirror to our own souls. Through reflective introspection and a growth mindset, as championed by pioneers like Carol Dweck, we don't just recognize errors, we unravel the intricacies of our thought processes, behaviors, and decision-making mechanisms by embracing challenges and persisting in the face of setbacks and viewing our feedback not as criticism, but as a tool for growth. And how do we do that? It is quite simple, really. You need to overcome the fear of failure, and to do that it requires courage, as a courageous exploration of what went wrong, why it happened, and how these insights can be applied to your future endeavours are the questions that will assist you in your decision-making process. In the words of Maya Angelou, you may encounter many defeats, but you must not be defeated. One of the many things that I like about weight training and bodybuilding is how it teaches you to see failure as a positive thing. When you are training to gain, you look forward to taking the set to failure, as you see that failure as a sign that you are working hard, and that hard work is what you know and believe will give you the positive transformation that you are seeking. Thomas Edison, in his relentless pursuit of the light bulb, faced over a thousand failures, yet each setback was a brushstroke in the masterpiece of his success. J.K. Rowling, who was rejected by numerous publishers, turned her setbacks into the magic that permeates the pages of Harry Potter. And Steve Jobs, who was sacked by the company that he created, Apple, orchestrated a triumphant comeback, reinventing the landscape of technology. The ability to learn from mistakes is a fundamental skill that can shape not only your personal development, but also influence your relationships, career, and overall quality of life. 
Embracing mistakes is therefore not a sign of weakness, but a testament to the strength and adaptability inherent in the human spirit, your spirit. Should you wish to dig deeper into this area, then here are a few book recommendations that you may find useful. Mindset, The New Psychology of Success by Carol S. Dweck. Atomic Habits by James Clear. Daring Greatly by Brene Brown. Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. In conclusion, mistakes are not endpoints, but integral chapters in your journey toward excellence and triumph. As perseverance, resilience in the face of rejection, adaptability, and learning from your mistakes are the key notes in this symphony of maturing and growth. So as you step back into the rhythm of your life, view mistakes not as moments of defeat or failure or flaws, but as the raw material from which you can sculpt your path to success. If you have any questions, then please leave them in the comments. I thank you for listening, and I look forward to spending some time with you again. Bye for now.